So chat up here. Let's have another rant. Um, so it's the end of the school year. So not as much of a rant as an update. But I want to do Bunny Wants to Die again because I want to finish the game. And so, let's see what was I going to say? Well, it's the end of my semester, and I'm also graduating this May, which is now. So I'm graduating in like a week. So I won't be going to graduation because it's a bunch of bullshit. Because I don't even get my diploma, and I don't want to wait with the other like few thousand people, like literally, just to get a piece of paper. Well, not even a piece of paper. You get a frame. So yeah, paper comes in the mail regardless. Anyway, that means I'm pretty busy, and I've gotten most of my shit out of the way. No, I've gotten most of my shit out of the way right now, but there's still some work to be done. Still one doozy of a thing, a couple minor things to clear up, and one other, one big project I need to finish, but... Yeah, I'm not. It's not looking too bad, except for in one class. But generally speaking, I've been doing pretty well. Wait, where did the green thing go? All right, it's over here. Green thing. Yep. Wait. What? Uh, give me that. I swear, I must remember where fucking almost everything is in this game. Not that's very big. Ow. Ah, shit. This thing. Um. So. See, I gave presentations last week, and, well, at first, I was I was dreading the shit out of those. And I did both presentations less than 24 hours before uh, actually giving them. Like, I wrote them up, like, 10, 15 minutes. Um, the first one I didn't think was so great. That was doing a very technical, a very technical thing on, um, required a fair amount of explanation, but the awesome thing is I was presenting to computer science and informatics majors, so they knew it was what I was talking about, and I didn't have to explain, like, shit to them. I had to explain to them, like, the terms and stuff, like, created in the study, like, what the study was about, but... I was not about to, like, explain to, like, a plebeian audience what a working set is, and what methods are in programming, or any of that kind of shit. I would just, like, want to die after, like, one minute of that. But, so I just completely ignore that in my presentation. I hoped people knew what, it, what, what that all meant, and you know. You shouldn't be in a graduate computer science, graduate level computer science course. If you didn't know that, so. You know, it was unnecessary. Everyone seemed to pretty much understand what I was doing, or what I was talking about. And, there we go. And understand the topic at hand. And more importantly, everyone, um, you know, it's not like it's something I did, but I was still excited to know that like, everyone thought both of the the papers, the products featured in the papers that I did uh, reports on, or presentations on, everyone was like, I want that shit right now. So, that was pretty awesome. I mean, that was my reaction, too, so I was figuring it would be what most people thought, but, you know, not necessarily. So, yeah, the first one was pretty technical. I honestly skipped a fair amount ow of detail just because I didn't want to bother explaining blah 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 blah. Here is all of this stuff that's not really relevant to the overall conclusion because it was just an evaluation. It wasn't really the most scientific study but it was the most it was uh, just testing out a product basically so didn't need to be too picky about shit. It was about in an IDE for Java that it's a working set based IDE instead of a file based IDE so you get basically all of the relevant aspects of a program on screen at once instead of oh dear I need to heal instead of wait is there a health there's a safe thingy here not you you're not a safe thingy get out of my way okay so yes the thing about file-based IDEs is that, while it's sometimes necessary, they kind of suck for certain things. Like, when you're analyzing another person's code, and their code fucking sucks, and you hate the, them to death? Yeah, the file-based format isn't very good, because sometimes they do all sorts of retarded things, and they include unnecessary things, and they're terrible programs. And they have tons of unnecessary pages included in those programs. 
I wonder who I could be talking about. But, yeah, in those situations, hello phone. In those situations, a working set based IDE would be very good. If you don't know what working set based IDE is, just, just don't worry about it. Anyway, so that was interesting to present on. And I think I did okay. Like, half of the students in the class are foreign language, well, not foreign language students, but um, English clearly is not their first language, and they really do not wield it well, shall I say. And, yeah, they gave... I'll say half of the class gave really just terrible presentations. You know, I, I hate to be mean to someone, you know, English isn't their first language and all that stuff. You know, I'm not expecting a glamorous, great presentation. All right. Shit. Hmm. Um, but the problem is that they would... It's like, it's almost as if they decided to... Okay, so in their mind, they seem to have thought this. Okay, so I don't speak English very well. I have an extremely thick accent. So I will compensate for this by talking as much as possible, rambling on and going into as much de unnecessary detail as possible on this very complex paper. And so, by the magic of unnecessary detail, they managed to make what could have been, you know, a pretty quick presentation that was fairly understandable and not so great English into an incredibly, unbearably long presentation that I didn't even pay attention to. Um, I would say that half of the foreign language students that presented did, in fact, go over the allotted time. So that's really, really bad. I mean, if I were giving a speech, like a technical presentation in German, I would be as fucking terse as possible. Absolutely s small sentences, concise points, just get the basic logic down, give you know, honestly, the minimum, because, you know, that's how it's going to sound the best. Because that gives me the least to fuck up, I keep all of the important details, and I don't distract from any of that. And I don't bore my listeners, that is the most important thing. The worst thing you can do is bore your readers, because whether or not you gave, you know, you gave all of the necessary information, if they stop paying attention, they won't notice. They just think you suck. Anyway, yeah, I definitely, if anything, my presentations were a bit short, but my second presentation, I composed within three hours of having to actually give it. It was about 15 slides, 15 fairly dense slides in PowerPoint, and I just, I read it to myself twice beforehand, just went in there like a fucking boss, and just, oh, right, 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 and presented that shit, and... You know, um, what did he say? I got my evaluation on that. Well, the, um, the comments on that. And very confident and blah 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 presentation. And got a perfect score on that one. I forgot what I got on the other one. I didn't look, because I got feedback on one and not the other. I definitely didn't do as good on the, as well on the other one. Oh, whoa. I almost died there. Definitely didn't do as well on the other one. Ugh, need to be careful around those guys. But still, I was glad to do either of those very well. I was glad to do either of those well, period, let alone very well. I've done amazingly well in the class, and I consider, like, personally, I would say I've done, like, pretty terrible work. Like, I could have done vastly better. But, pretty much all of my work has gotten really great scores so far. The little that I've actually gotten scores for, my um, my initial write-up got a 19 out of 20 points, and those are significant. That's a significant 20. But you know, the one thing I was missing was screenshots of the uh, pertinent stuff, which, in retrospect, would have been the obvious thing to include. But I didn't think to include. That's the interesting thing. See. I didn't think to include them because I know what they are, so in stuff like this you always gotta consider what, you know, the outsider's knowledge is going to be of a system. But not a syst Oh god damn it, what? Whatever. I hate what's in that I hate that puzzle in that room anyway, so fuck it. We're beating the final boss without that shit. 
Okay. That just pissed me off. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, but that presentation, I'm basically going to have to fudge together an experiment in the next two days. And um, I only need four participants, so I'm just getting a few of my friends. I love this I love this corridor because you can do the fucking this badass wall jumps all the way up. The funny thing is, once you hit the ground, you can't actually come back up. They don't know what this counter is. I assume it means how many times I've died while playing this game. What power do I want? Yeah, I want this. So, what am I talking about here? Yeah, well, that class, I'm basically going to have to fudge my experiment, but it's a joke anyway. I'm kind of amazed I got as good of a grade as I have so far on it. But, you know, it's pretty much a joke, and I've seen... No offense to the other people, but I've seen other people's projects, and, you know, I'm, um... You know, at worst, I'm pretty much average on that regard. But, you know, it's just a dumb... It's teaching us how to do this sort of experiment, not like, you must find this groundbreaking revelation for human-computer interaction. So, you know, we're not gonna do that. We, we have jack shit to work with. I just bit off a bit more than I can chew, because I have to actually program something for my, uh for my project, which was a bad idea. I thought it would be easy. It's it's not that hard, it's just completely unnecessary is the problem. Because, you know, I'm basically just making a program exclusively for a survey. It's like, that's ridiculous and unnecessary, and I should not have... Damn it. Stop that. And I should not have, like, intended to do that. Not a good idea on my part. So... Okay. So, yeah, that's that was a dumb idea. Well, and so was that, because I almost died. But, whatever, I'll get it done. Shit. Not going as expected. Shit, stop squishing me. So, yeah. No, stop. Uh, my timing is way off. Okay, now come here. There. So yeah, I'm looking pretty good for most of my classes. In fact, HCI is the only one I'm really worried about. The other one that I'm slightly worried about is my informatics project thing, which is where I'm dealing with the ungodly horror of dealing with those teammates that I really hate. My last rant was pretty much because of them, but I'm fixing their disgusting problems with their website thing, but... so. It feels good to be doing that, even though I can't fix all of it. I wish I wish I could concisely explain all that they've done wrong. Just know that over four, I can replace 40 web pages that they made with with uh, three, no wait, two. So yeah, they just basically don't, oh son of a bitch, I was so close. Just basically they don't understand how to operate with PHP like it's a programming language because you know they're just treating like it's HTML the whole point of PHP is that it is a programming language and you can use it to dynamically generate content they're not doing this at all Ugh. so it's just pretty terrible Whew. hate that form oh great this thing wait Oh, wait, this is not the panic mode one. So, yeah, I've basically been fixing their fuck-ups, and unfortunately they're doing the presentation, which, on one hand, it means they're not doing the code, and they at least realize that um, they have less experience in the coding department. But on the other hand, I'm not sure I want to see how their presentation ends up. But worst case... I'm not terrible at making presentations, so I can just do whatever the fuck if I really need to, to fix whatever. It's just a s simple 10 minute presentation, and it shouldn't be much of a problem. But the problem is they're not even like starting it until Tuesday, we present it Thursday. And it really would not be that hard, because we're just presenting our website. I mean, I could, I could just give me a monitor, put my shit put my shit on it and I will there 
and I will present it, and it'll be no problem. I could, yeah, I could, I could probably, oh shit, gab on it for ten minutes. And especially with three people, I mean, assuming their brains operate for ten full minutes. If I randomly yell obscenities and stop moving, that's because, for some reason, my computer does not recognize joystick input as input, so at least it doesn't in this game. So when I'm playing this, sometimes my uh, screen turns off because, hooray, because it thinks that I have suddenly stopped using the computer for like 10 minutes or something. By the way, what is with people that still use screensavers? Jesus Christ. Um, just, it is so easy to just have your computer, your, uh, just turn your monitor off. I'm not sure why there was ever a reason not to just have your monitor turn off. I guess because CRTs take a moment to come back on, and they're stupid and terrible. But LCDs, that's not a problem. I'm sucking it up here. So, yeah. I just always have mine turn the fuck off. That's more like it. What else is there to rant about? Oh, yes. Um, because of the circumstances... Oh, right. Don't, um, don't be surprised if videos stop appearing as frequently. Shit. Don't be surprised if I die to this boss form either. Damn it. So, yeah, I'm just gonna die. What was I saying? Oh yeah, if videos, well... I have um, a few Minecraft videos left I need to upload, and one other one, so I'll just be uploading those and being lazy for a bit. Probably. I keep saying that I'm going to stop doing videos as often, and then I find I get bored and I want to do something or whatever, and then I end up having a video anyway. In reality, my week really isn't that busy next week, but there is one major paper, eight pages that I need to do. And I haven't started, but I have a previous draft. Well, I have a proposal that I have to work off of. Oh, wow, I did not expect to beat the game during this. Stop on your fucking face. That feels good. All right. So, yeah. Basically, I only have one actual final this next week. I have two presentations, neither of which I've started. And I have a couple of projects to finish, basically. Hooray, we won! I guess I don't really have too much more to bitch about. Nothing I can think of, anyway. So I may as well end the video here. Oh yeah, we definitely... We didn't quite do it under 90 minutes. I could have if I didn't fuck certain somethings up. But that would be worthy of an achievement. That I previously had failed to get... I, how long did it take me originally? That's... How many hours is that? It's what? It's like four, f little under five hours, right? Yeah. That's that was my first playthrough, so that took for fucking ever. And now I'm well under two hours. That's not bad at all. Anyway, this has been me ranting, randomly. Thanks for watching. If you did, not sure why you did, but you did. Maybe. I like ranting. Goodbye.